What I like most about this country is the friendliness of the people. In Kenya, you're more welcome. Firstly, ask me the people, especially with the youth. We have an original mindset. It's not tied down in traditions that we used to have. The music, that's all. Well, not, that's not all. The people are also an additional benefit, but mostly the music. There's a lot of young people, and that there's more young people than older people in Kenya right now. I feel that in another generation or so, Kenya will you know, be a better imagined space you know, as a country. Just the concept of Kenya will be better. If you have money, Kenya is a very entertaining place. Like really, if you have cash in your pocket and you just want to chill, Kenya is the place to be. It's home. Like I, I, don't, I haven't been home for, for quite a while. So whenever I come home, it's that sense of um, it feels right. It feels like I fit. And, and I think that's mostly because of the people. And Kenyans really have a very open, hospitable, you know, sort of spirit and nature. The weather is amazing. The environment, the wildlife and everything that comes along with it. Oh, uh, I like the people and I really think that the country has a lot of potential. Kenyans are hustlers, man. You'll find Kenyans in Iceland, in, I mean, everywhere. So, you know, I think the people are a lot of, have a lot of potential. Does it have to be one thing? What I love about this country, hey man, the weather, the beaches, the people, the vegetation, just it's open space, man. I love it. The people, the potential, yeah, the people and the potential. There's a lot of potential in the country in terms of things that you can do. The people, the people are gorgeous. Um, a lot of the people are very interesting. The diversity is something you have to love. The geography, it's a beautiful country. This country is so amazing. People in power piss me off. <sighs> Corruption, the government. We're more concentrated on um, politics. Governance. And I don't think um, young people are ever considered in any policy making, in any thought process that the government that the government has in mind. To make it easier so all of us can not be thugs and, and rob people. The disparity between um, rich and poor and how just extreme it is and the apathy of, of the youth is, is also pretty frustrating because you know it's our country as well. But there's a sense of, you know, uh, you know, I'm gonna sit back, let someone else do it, let someone else step up and be the leaders. Our leaders, I feel like we have a bunch of two hundred people holding an entire country hostage. We are 40 million people and I just think it's crazy that a bunch of 200 people could literally hold our entire future and everything hostage. You look at the crap these people do and it's just ridiculous. The injustice that uh, exists, the inequality that exists. I hate politicians. I hate them. I hate they're dumb. They, they do dumb things like why are they discussing salary increases? Like how is that a discussion? And then after you do that then you make us wait in jam because we have to clear the way for you to go wherever you're going because you're the prime minister, whoever you are. I just, ah, politicians make me sick. I hate, I hate, I hate our members of parliament. I seriously think that if I was given a shotgun...